Okay, this is the oil filter we'll be cutting open today. A Fram Ultra XG8A. So let's get at it. it looks like it's got a metal support. It's supposed to Okay, you can see the magnets that we have up here. We'll take this off. Oh, that's on there good, so I'm gonna have to use a wrench. Okay. Uh, some oil is gonna come down. There it goes. Okay, I'll take it the rest of the way off. Ah, the magnets came off. They stuck to the frame. Shit. Oh well. Okay, I gotta take these magnets off of here. And first time I ever did that. I just gotta be more careful. I don't understand that. Shit, on. Clean this up. And I pre-filled this filter. It's a Purilator Boss. That should be good. And okay, here she is cut open. I put the magnets back where I think they were. I think I got them pretty close to where they were. And we'll see. Okay. Here's the base plate. Everything's fine here. Not really much to see here. Silicone valve. It all looks good. This filter went one year and then a little over 4,000 miles. It's fine there. And filter element. So I counted 37 pleats. And they always seem to be pretty wide here at the seam. It's the way they make them. But I mean, this is a this is a well built filter. It's pretty. It's pretty. What's the word to use here? It's a uh, pretty, pretty beefy. I don't know what this is. Like a little bit of. Maybe I did that one. It's. Yeah. I don't know, maybe when I was opening it up, I don't know. It's not ripped or anything, it's just a little. Actually, it's nothing, but it's probably nothing. And, let's see, leaf spring, bypass. All right, it's not bent or anything. I've seen these collapse. Uh, I've seen them collapse in a champion filter that I opened up once. This one looks fine. And the can, uh, we've got the magnets on the side right there. You can see it. it caught a little bit, but not much. So you can see where it was and where I put the magnets back in. You can kind of tell. Let's see. Let me, oops. Let me move these magnets around a little bit. See if you can see something. Well, it's hard to. It's hard to move them. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I think they were low, they were probably lower down. Yeah. But anyways, they caught some stuff there. See it? Not much. Other than that, there's not much to this filter. I mean, there's. It all looks pretty good. There wasn't much stuff on the drain. I have a magnetic drain plug too, and there wasn't much stuff. So after one year, a little over 4,000 miles, it's not much. I mean, it's nothing for this filter. But I just figure, hey, one year, one year is good enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not stretching it. So, uh, 
Let me cut the let me cut the filter element and I'll try squeezing this in a vise and see if you can you can see any carbon in there or anything. There might be some carbon maybe in there. I don't know. It's hard to tell because there's still some oil in there. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, here she is all laid out. She's 61 inches long. And I noticed a lot of carbon deposits on this one. You can see them here. See the darker areas. Like right here. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, smudging it around. There's actually a few sparkles in here too. Oh, just so everybody knows what this came out of. This is a this came out of a '97 Ford Explorer with the 4.0 the overhead valves. Yeah, there's a lot of carbon and see that little sp right there. It's a little sparkle. I hope you can get that. See it right there. It's covered up. There you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully that's normal. I see a few of them throughout, but I don't know if that's uh, magnetic or not. The engine's got 194,000 miles on it. And ever since I've had it, I've been putting up synthetics in it. So, usually Penn's oil. Penn's oil or Shell Retella gas truck oil. But Penn's oil is usually my go-to oil. Here's the inner. And as far as the can, I didn't measure it. It's, uh, I was getting about 0.4, 0.5. Yeah, about 0.4. It's got a little flex to it, but it's not bad. Yeah, so this filter looks like it caught quite a bit of carbon deposits here, so it was doing its job. Definitely did its job. I don't know if I showed the I didn't show the backing on this, in case you guys tell me you don't know. Got the metal backing on it. You know, this is a very strong filter. There's no way it'll tear. To me, best filter frame makes. I don't know if they make any better ones than this, but it's, it's a well made filter. And after one year, I'll come back and I have. Right now, the pure later is in there. So, the pure later boss is in there. And the, I know the pure later boss has a very white medium. Whereas this one's more like a tan color, but brown tan. The other one's very white. So, the carbon deposits on that one should show up real well. Hey, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching, and take care.